Tyler Brandon's doing the editing. Does <laughs> anybody care about sense of slop? Does anybody love a sense of slop? <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing this because I know you're gonna start recording. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome. <laughs> Dang it! I'm Anna McCarty, and that is Father Brandon, and this is Solid Ground. On Solid what, Ground. What? what? <laughs> talking to you about the third heart. Oh yeah. Can you guess which? If you watched our last video, you know. It is St. Joseph's most chaste heart. Yes. So first we talked about the sacred heart of Jesus, of course, because we, mm -hmm. we talk about God because he's the best. Then Mary's most um, immaculate heart. And then Joseph has a chaste heart. So what does that mean? And what does the image look like? Father yeah, Brandon. Absolutely. So I think just like the other ones, um, the easiest thing that we can do is to look at the image and we can learn a lot about St. Joseph uh, just from that image. Well, first off, just like the other hearts, or first off, like mm -hmm. Mary's heart, he his heart is aflame with love of God. Mm -hmm. And also it's surrounded with lilies, which is purity and virtue. And those both are very important because you know that he is most pure, um, but he's also virtuous. We hear of his virtue in the scripture, of his justice and his, mm -hmm. you know, he stood up for, you know, for our Lord and, you know, he was courageous and forti you know, full of fortitude. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are the things that we can learn about his most chaste heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really cool because St. Joseph was fully human. Like, Jesus is God and human. Mary is fully human, but she was preserved from original sin. But St. Joseph wasn't necessarily. So he was mm -hmm. just like us, um, yeah. and he had faults, but he was still so chaste and so pure. And in something that I read, it was saying he was the man of virtue. He was like this mm -hmm. just man. And so we can look to him as like a, a model of... Yeah this holy saint and I've heard that he is the saint that has suffered the most um, mm. of all the saints. Yeah, I've heard that too. You yeah. know, like even like we don't really know a lot about Saint Joseph and we don't know a lot about his life and his death and his you know his passion and his sufferings, but we do understand that like as the father of Jesus um, he suffered. And just like Mary had seven um, wounds, we also hear about Saint Joseph having seven wounds and also seven joys and that kind of like mm -hmm. talks about the life of yeah. Jesus. This year is that in the Diocese of La Crosse, our own diocese, we're doing the year of Saint Joseph because mm -hmm. he is Saint Joseph the Workman is the patron saint of our diocese and so um, we've kind of taken him on as a special patron and this year especially we're going to try and you know rekindle that devotion to him mm -hmm. um, and you know we're starting off this video with his most chaste heart and what we can learn from that and mm -hmm. of his virtue and his love for our Lord and our Blessed yeah. Mother. And um, some really cool things about St. Joseph so I want to just mention two prayers there's a litany to St. Joseph mm -hmm. and really powerful because all litanies like if you're doing a litany to the Blessed Virgin Mary all of the things that you're saying kind of are names for the Blessed Virgin Mary. So the Litany to St. Joseph, um, some of them he's most just, most chaste, most prudent, most strong, most obedient, most faithful. He's the mirror of patience. He's the lover of poverty, mm -hmm. the glory of home life, the guardian of virgins, pillar of families, and one of my all-time favorites, the terror of demons. Terror of demons. Like, wow. So if you yeah. want protection, pray to St. Joseph. Absolutely. Um, and then the second is the St. Joseph prayer. St. Joseph is a patron of a happy death, and so we want to pray to him um, to be there, you know, for yeah. us at the hour it's kind of, of our death. It seems like an oxymoron right off the bat, a happy death, but, yeah. but if we understand death is not, you know, the end, but the beginning, beginning. of entrance into eternal life, well, death will certainly be a joyous occasion, with a moment to when, though it'll be certainly sad to leave, you know, those whom we love on earth, it'll be sad for them to leave us, but yeah. to see, to have that beatific, beatific vision of our Lord. I mean, what a, what a beautiful and happy moment that would be. Just like the, the first Friday is to the Sacred Heart and the first Saturday is to the Immaculate Heart, first Wednesdays are to mm -hmm. the most chaste heart of mm -hmm. St. Joseph. And just a really kind of a cool quote um, from an apparition of Joseph himself um, in 1998 in Brazil, kind of a really cool apparition that was recently approved by the local ordinary, the local bishop. Um, he says, on these Wednesdays, men will not receive a shower of simple graces but very strong torrents of extraordinary graces. And I will share them with those who honor me and rely on me, all the blessings, all the virtues, and all the love I receive from my divine son Jesus and my spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary. So dang, 
That's pretty awesome. He's, I'll take a shower, please. He's well connected. It's not what yeah. you know, it's who you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's got, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Got the St. Joseph. Cool. Pray for us, and we'll pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh, St. Joseph, whose, whose protection, protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O oh, St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me, your divine Son, all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O oh, St. Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. In the name of the Father, Father and of the, the Son, and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Underneath that prayer, it says, Save for nine mornings for anything you may desire. It has never been known to fail. So be sure you really want what you ask. Indeed. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you all have a blessed week. Take care and God bless. God bless. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> 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 they left without me. They, they do this again. every year. <laughs> Why? Doesn't anyone love me? Isn't there anyone who cares about sin the slaughter?